Hey guys and welcome back. So this is going to be a quick video about how you can make your Windows 10 much faster and get rid of all the unneeded software that Windows delivers out of the box and also fix those constantly coming in Windows updates that tend to break some sort of the thing. So if you're ready, just let's start. And the only thing that we need is we need to open this page, a uh, link to which I'm gonna also drop in the description of this video. And this script is not made by me, it is made by the Chris Titus Tetch, who also has a YouTube channel. So if you want, you can search him up and also subscribe to his channel. So uh, as you can see, there was a recent update in the December 2020, so we can can be sure that this script is up to date, it's gonna work with all of your Windows 10 installations and it's extremely easy. So what we can do is we can go to the GitHub page where actually all of the sources of these scripts are stored, like the readme file, the PowerShell script, uh, some sort of the config file, uh, the registry cleanup, another PowerShell script. and. Uh, this might seem like a bit frightening if you don't, uh, if you're not familiar with all of these stuff, don't worry, got you covered. So you don't actually need to do some magic with the scripts or do whatever else. You, you don't even need this GitHub page. So this was just for the example. Uh, what you need is just open this initial page uh, with a December 2020 update and we also gonna need the PowerShell. So click in the start and type PowerShell, this one, not any of these, and most important thing, you need to run it as administrator. So that's basically only condition you must have administrator uh, privilege on the windows which you are trying to deep load and make much faster. So when you did that, all you need to do is copy paste this line and paste it inside a PowerShell which is running as admin. Uh, I did a paste wrong so I will do it again like this and click enter. That's it. From now on everything becomes like super simple. You can see the graphic user interface so there is no need to play around with any sort of the scripts and uh, first of all the program installations like you don't need to go to the Google and search for the VLC or the media player, the Notepad++, you can get everything up and running right from this, but we're mostly talking about how to uh, de-bloat Windows, not how to install any software. So the system tweaks. You can do just manually, uh, like uh, work on an action center, the dark mode, light mode of your Windows, visual effects, uh, Windows search, OneDrive and Cortana. But as it's already stated in the GUI, if you're unsure what all of this is, just apply the essential tweaks and this will already get rid of a lot of not needed software on your Windows machine. So when I click essential tweaks, you can see it is first of all, creating the system restore point just to make sure if some sort of the accident happens but it's not going to happen everything is going to be fine um then like if if you change your mind you can always restore from the restore point and everything going to be up and running as it was before you actually run this so as you can see the first things that are happening is disabling a lot of the things uh removing um applications that are coming out of the box with a Windows from the Windows Store, um, disabling telemetry data, activity history, feedback, tailored experiences, automatic maps, maps updates. So normally you don't need any of that. So all of these processes and operations are running in the background. Normally they are taking the resources of your computer, but if you not need them, you just get rid of those. Click OK, that's done. Next topic, security. So if you don't really care about a security, you can click on a low, which will disable Windows Defender, Defender Updates, uh, UAC to never prompt, disable meltdown flag, and disable Windows malware scan. If you still want to have some sort of the security, you can click on a high, click disabling SMB, Samba protocol, uh, enabling Windows Defender, Defender Cloud, operation completed, that's it. That's all that we had to do. And now the last part, the Windows update. If you don't want to install the Windows updates, you don't want to get that prompt that, hey, after your next restart or the shutdown, it will install a new Windows updates, you can click to receive only the security updates. Everything else will gonna be ignored. So security updates only, click, operation completed, done. 
if you want to receive absolutely all Windows updates, then just click the default settings. And that's it. That's all you have to do in this application. That's all the knowledge you need to have. Just click uh, one, two, three buttons uh, after copy pasting one line in the PowerShell. So we can close this. Our Windows 10 is debloated. It's safe to restart, shut down, do whatever else. It's already clean and tidy. And the last thing, which is going to be just like a bonus to this video, is the classic shell for your Windows 10. If you like uh, this style of the Windows 10 shell uh, start menu, not the default one, then it's extremely simple to get it. All you need to do is open classicshell.net, which link I'm again going to link in the description, download the utility, and it's again going to be basically next, next, next finish, where you will just choose what sort of the uh, start menu do you want, and you will be able to choose uh, three different styles. So classic, two columns, and Windows 7. That's it. Classic Explorer, also there. So apply these steps to make your Windows 10 uh, much less uh, resource costing. If you don't have like a very strong or powerful hardware, this will make um, Windows 10 a lot better for you. So thank you guys and we're definitely seeing you in the next videos. Don't forget to click subscribe button and goodbye.